Tropical Storm Helene is expected to rapidly intensify into a major hurricane just in the next two days as it sets its sights on Florida with a storm surge approaching 10 to 15 feet in spots. We're looking at major impacts well inland as this could actually mix in with another system that could leave impacts well into the end of the month and even into the first couple of days of October. So we got a lot to cover in this update. Take a look at the overall setup on the vorticity map. You can see this upper level feature that's dropping down from the plains and portions of the upper Midwest. That's actually bringing a series of cool fronts. We had one yesterday, then we have yet another one into the overnight hours tonight. That's going to bring a renewed threat of showers and some thunderstorms. But there is Helene getting its act together down there into the Caribbean. We're going to be looking at a formidable storm. It's expected to rapidly intensify into a hurricane even to tomorrow right off the coast of Cancun as it gets into the Gulf of Mexico that will be setting its sights on Florida as it continues to rapidly intensify over the next uh, two days. So if we take a look at the overall temperature map, you can kind of see what's happening elsewhere in the country. We've got, unfortunately, another ridge of high pressure that's building in for a good part of the west and much of the desert southwest. The cooler anomalies are into your central and eastern two-thirds, complements of that vorticity that I kind of showed you. That's actually bringing a series of cool fronts. Yes, we have another one that's going to come in on the backside, reinforcing shot of some cooler kind of fall-like air in spots. That will be pressing southward as it's going to influence the, the, the shift and what looks to turn, you know, e turn northeast with, uh, you know, with Helene in the, in the coming days. But once this actually gets inland, it could actually turn northwest and as it interacts with that upper level feature. So we look at the overall satellite picture and the big picture, we can see what we're talking about here. Here is that first initial cool front that came through yesterday that's still bringing some showers and thunderstorms further south. And here's a renewed cool front that's dropping in from the plains. That's the one that's gonna be dropping southbound into the overnight hours as well. And there is Helene. They officially named it to Helene on this update at 10 o'clock. And that's only going to continue to intensify. Yes, we have several other features out there into the Atlantic. So it's not going to be long. We could be looking at Isaac out there into the Atlantic as well. But closer to home, our main concern is Helene. Right now, it is a tropical storm. 45 mile per hour winds continuing to intensify. You can see it expected to be a hurricane by tomorrow morning right off the coast of cancun that's why we do have hurricane watches now warnings in effect for them and as it continues to lift northbound it goes over that very warm waters into the gulf of mexico and it's all systems go by overnight on wednesday night into the thursday morning it is expected to become already 150 15 mile per hour formidable major hurricane category three hurricane and it looks to continue to remain that intensity all the way to landfall expected sometime on thursday night time frame and then it continues to push inland it's going to interact with this uh, upper level feature as well and actually push it a little bit further northwest bringing impacts well end in inland into the Tennessee Valley, as well as into uh, portions of Illinois, Indiana, and even Ohio. But that might not be the end of it. It could get mixed in this upper level feature. It could last even through the end of the month. So right now, our concern is the peak storm surge as Helene will continue to rapidly intensify. So right now they're estimating anywhere in these yellow shaded areas, two to four foot storm surge, here in the orange shaded areas, you're talking four to upwards to almost eight feet of storm surge. But once you get into the red shaded areas, then it becomes pretty serious, folks. It's above your head. It's six to 10 feet. And yes, devastating storm surge could unfold with that 115 mile per hour major hurricane um, comes ashore. We could be looking at 10 to 15 feet. So definitely know your... Um, 
your evacuation orders and heed all evacuation orders because you're going to be starting to hear more of those as Helene continues to strengthen and as more certainty starts to come into play. But right now, we're definitely uh, uh, you know, looking to experience a, a major hurricane on Thursday night. So if we break it down, here's the overall model impact going into you know overnight tonight with that cool cooler shot of air you see the ridge of high pressure pretty much locked over the desert southwest unfortunately that heat is going to be building back in a good part of the west coast of phoenix <laughs> unfortunately goes back to you're 106 i even see some saw some 110s back in that region unfortunately even some more record breaking temperatures but there's the cooler shot of air that will be reinforced on the backside, bringing in some pleasant light conditions, 70s and 80 degree temperatures across this region. But it's also going to be bringing a renewed showers and thunderstorms, while obviously we'll be watching Helene coming up from the, the into the Gulf of Mexico. So as we expand the view, you can kind of see what we're talking about on the vorticity map a little bit better here's this upper level feature that will be diving across arkansas and portions of western tennessee but then there's helene that's starting to come out and emerge into the gulf of mexico this system at least in the beginning is going to be pushing it northeast but as it as it uh, becomes inland it's going to kind of pinwheel around each other so these more these two features are going to be kind of be playing ping pong with each other for several days and all that really means in layman's terms it continues to remain unsettled and uh, very windy and very heavy rain is going to be a you know inundating those areas for days to come but what's concerning is the hurricane models have been really consistent with this storm unfortunately you can definitely see the hurricane model update on the simulated satellite brings it into a formidable cat 3 if not almost a, a cat 4 hurricane down to a 927 millibar hurricane that would be devastating uh huge storm almost a category 4 storm and what is even more concerning, it looks to continue to remain that intensity. So right now, the National Hurricane Center does, in fact, have that, hur you know, major hurricane landfall at 115. But, is if, you know, with these hurricane models staying consistent like that, do expect them to continue to creep that upward, unfortunately. And yes, a Category 4 is definitely not off the table with this storm as it to continues to remain uh, continue to you know rapidly intensify so by Thursday morning we are going to be seeing even into Wednesday by Thursday morning for sure we're going to start seeing the outer band so just because you're not on the cone uh, you're still going to get impacts I mean pretty much the entire state of Florida is going to be impacted from this system with very heavy rain so would just expect numerous delays flight fight you know flight cancellations uh, heat all warnings that come in come into play especially off the coastal zones and if you're in those flood prone areas do get out of there because uh yeah i mean it's just you're, you're looking at storm surges 610 approaching almost 15 feet that's that you're getting to the you know one story of your house uh by then so but yeah you're looking at some very heavy rain continuing to push inland through georgia back into the carolinas that will likely extend into eastern tennessee by the time we head into thursday morning and you can see what we're dealing with this little pinwall action with these two systems so you'll have that cooler air coming on the back side this would be helene and this would be your other upper level feature these are the ones that could even have some like fujiwara type of effect where they kind of rotate around each other or they just pinwheel off each other but nonetheless it's going to keep this whole area unsettled it for the foreseeable future really all the way through the the end of the month so you can definitely see by even by saturday we'll be looking at heavy rain pushing inland through uh, north carolina back into virginia that will likely extend into west virginia by then and then get mixed in with that upper level feature as well through ohio uh, they're not going to be complaining about the rain out there and then uh, you know illinois back into areas of missouri and then even as far east, uh, far west as uh, Kansas, even in portions of Oklahoma, could see the kind of the remnants of a uh, Helene through into this weekend. But 
you can definitely see on the upper level features uh, this again this little this upper level feature that will continue to rotate and pinwheel across as the ridge of high pressure will be you know continuing to lift and intensify out out of here off the west coast and almost bring a ridge over the top to keep these areas of low pressure underneath lower longer so and that continues to keep the rain around all the way into monday so that's even as we head towards the end of the month all this will caps in some form will still be the remnants of helene back through back through the areas of the tennessee and ohio valley now through through uh you know south carolina north carolina and it'll continue in, even into tuesday you're you're now we're talking october 1st time frame with more unsettled weather continuing to push out and this even could even last until you know until wednesday october you know the second time frame but overall i mean it's gonna do expect a warm if not hot week out west numerous records unfortunately continuing fold off there just the high pressure just can't lose its grip it had some coolness you know about a week or two but now it's the ridge is coming back and you know for for a good part of the week it's going to be pretty warm across the, at least the western regions and eventually that ridge will start building over the top and keeping the cooler anomalies underneath and where the rain and the cloud cover is but yes, the concern with Helene would be the devastating high winds that will likely unfold, major hurricane force wind gust, and then the inland winds w should extend all the way through Georgia and even, even South Carolina could actually have some, you know, hurricane force wind gusts as strong as Helene is expected to come ashore. So overall, the rainfall prospects look like this. So where the ridge is, you're not gonna get much of any rain underneath the, the underneath that that area for the next really seven days most of the instability is going to be with helene and this upper level feature so but the combination of them too do expect a lot of inland impacts so not just with florida and much of uh, you know georgia through the carolinas from helene but also the upper level feature that will be highlighted across the ohio valley and then eventually push eastward so do expect more flood watches more flooding rains to unfold and through the rest of the week rest of the month and those will likely extend going into monday and tuesday and even possibly trying to move off the east coast even of wednesday of next week into october so guys i appreciate you guys uh, watching do like this video definitely hit the subscribe button and catch me next update wire protect you before and after storm